Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Harry Hewlett. This is the Harry and Friends Guitar Pool. That's a open mic, that's what that means. It's October the 8th, 2022. We've got, uh, got, got seven of us lined up already. More to come. we got uh, me, we got Keith Dodson, followed by Dan Rourke, then Alan Larson, then Don, Don Wall, Bill Martin, Rick Valenti, and here's Michael and Nell from Nashville. They're here now. So Michael and Nell, they'll be number eight on the list. Actually, they kind of get two songs because they're it's a lot of times they perform individually. Okay, let's get them going here. So this is a big weekend. I'm, I didn't know how big of a crowd we'd get today. You know, this is the uh, Texas OU weekend. They're all down there about five minutes away from here playing football there's there's now where's michael he's not on he's not in his chair he's i bet he's uh there he is okay i'm gonna give everybody a view of this whole thing here there's a gallery view look at there so up there in the left that's keith dodson and then there's me and then there's dan rourke and then on the lower left there alan larson and don wall don's down in nashville too he's he's a star he's only been down there a month he's already playing out and doing all kinds of stuff down there in nashville and then bill martin he just got back from colorado and then we got rick valenti he's from down near houston rick's got a new record have y'all heard his new that's have you have you published that yet rick Oh, hey, he'll tell, tell us about it. Um, I sent, no, I sent it in to the DSA. Boy, that's a good song. For, I think uh, we've heard original, we've heard the original, your version of it, but the recorded yeah. song sounds really good. And then you got Michael Nail down there. How y'all doing? Well, they're muted. That's how they're doing. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to put the spotlight on me, and I'm going to do a song. Is, y'all got anything you want to say and, you know, to start the show off? Anybody got anything? Okay. So we're going to be doing it. It's, it's a guitar pull. We go, one guy does a song, and then, then another guy does the song, and then another guy does a song. We just go round and round. Every now and then we'll do a gallery review like what you're seeing right now. Uh -huh. And I'm going to be sure it's a pretty day here in Dallas. I'm in Dallas. Everybody, everybody except... Everybody's in Dallas except, well, Don's in Nashville, uh, Rick Valenti's in Houston, and Michael and Nell, they're in Nashville, and the rest of us, we're here in Dallas. Ah, okay. My, my I'm, only I'm thing I got, the, I'm unmuted. The only thing I have to say is go vote. <laughs> okay. Go vote? Go okay. vote. <laughs> All right. I got a question for you Texas guys. Okay. Do any of these know, know Billy Stone? Billy Stone? No. Yeah. I think he was out of Dallas, I think. Seemed like a musician or something? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, Billy was great. And he died quite a few he, years ago. Yeah, he did. He, he died young. He was uh, didn't take too good care of himself. But uh, yeah, look, look him up. He's got a, there's an album of his, his music out there called West Texas Sky. And wow. I, believe, I believe it's actually a compilation of two albums that he made. You know, that uh, rain name rings a bell. But I, I I can't I can't. It's awesome. Name a song, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Well, here we go. Let's see. Speaker view. Okay. All righty, all righty. Oh. Thank you, folks, for showing up. If there's anybody out there listening, we appreciate it. We we love an audience, and uh, we'll do the best to entertain you. Try not to insult anybody. A little song called Jimmy Love Jesus. Uh, Buck Martin, Buck Morgan wrote this song and and uh, he, he let me play it and I kind of changed it up a little bit. So I kind of claim a little bit of the writing on this, my version of it. I put it on a record, but it's really Buck's song called Jimmy Love Jesus. There's actually a guy here in Dallas somewhere. I don't know what his name is, but there's a real guy. That this song was patterned after.
Reverend Jimmy Weaver was a true believer, drank iced tea at the bar, gave praise to his Redeemer. He sat there with his guitar, I longed for from afar. His eyes found mine like some kind of Christian radar. That guitar made me bold. A big blonde with round shoulders. He said, look away. Pray you'll grow older. Jimmy loved to sing the gospel. He lived to praise the Lord. Kept a pistol in his pocket. A Bible in his beat up for Jimmy loved Jesus, but Jimmy loved trouble even more. Now Jimmy was a wheeler, bailed out a sex dealer, took him to church to meet his blessed healer. He was a bondsman and a preacher. To his son, he was a teacher, and as far as a girl, <laughs> he'd do anything to reach her. She had troubles she couldn't outrun. Doings that needed undone. She needed him now. Jimmy came and brought his gun. Jimmy loved to sing the gospel. He lived to praise the Lord. Kept a pistol in his pocket. A Bible in his beat up for Jimmy loved Jesus, but Jimmy loved trouble even more. Jimmy was broken hearted. He learned he was the target. Squeeze the trigger. Forgive and never forget. Squeezing that trigger's something he'll never forget. It's too late for morning. He gave his blessings to the warden and in his hands he holds the Bible. Not the good, but you and I know. Jimmy loved Jesus, but Jimmy loved trouble even more. Jimmy loved to sing the gospel. He lived to praise the Lord. Kept a pistol in his pocket. A Bible in his beat up floor. Jimmy loved Jesus, but Jimmy loved trouble even more. Jimmy loved Jesus, but Jimmy loved trouble even more. Jimmy loved Jesus, but Jimmy loved trouble even more. Thank you, Buck Morgan, for writing that song. Okie dokie, okie dokie. That was me, that was me, and now we got a real treat. We got Keith Dodson. He's originally from Georgia. You might notice from his accent. You know, they speak Southern, and we speak Southern here in Texas, but we don't talk the same way, do we? I'm, I'm, I'm actually from North Carolina. North, oh, North Carolina. Okay, well, that's kind of like being my, from My Georgia, daughter went to college in Georgia, so I spent that's, some time that's, okay, there. Okay, let me see if I can find it. Where did where'd you go? Off to? I bet you're down here on the bottom. I've lived in oh, Iowa, yeah, Tennessee, Illinois, Indiana, kind of all over the place. Hey, you, 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 sound, you sound like an educated Southerner, kind of, you know. <laughs> Genteel. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, there I am. Keith Dodson, folks. What you going to play for us, Keith? I'm going to play for y'all a love song for the digital age. Oh, we love love songs. One day I launched my browser, pure knowledge to acquire. An image came upon my screen that set my heart on fire. She smiled at me with big brown eyes, too lovely to describe. <laughs> and she asked me to like her, 
and also to subscribe. She's a girl of my streams. I saw her on the net. It started with a Facebook meme, the subject I forget. But now she shows up everywhere, cat videos and spam. Recommended by YouTube. Follow her on Instagram. Really just had to know her. I clicked to find her store. I bought three t shirts and a mug, a tote bag, and much more. But to a message down below, my lovesick eyes were drawn. To really get to know me, just join my Patreon. She's the girl of my streams. I saw her on the net. It started with a Facebook meme, the subject I forget. But now she shows up everywhere, cat videos and spam. Recommended by YouTube. Follow her on Instagram. Well, I finally got to know her. I'm happy to report. Her page tells all about her and her levels of support. For inside information and exclusive streams deluxe, I can join her inner circle one month for 30 bucks. She's the girl of my streams. I saw her on the net. It started with a Facebook meme, the subject I forget. But now she shows up everywhere, cat videos and spam. Recommended by YouTube. Follow her on Instagram. I'll follow her on Instagram and Twitter and WhatsApp and YouTube and TikTok. Girl of my streams. I hate to be a downer, but I don't think she's right for you. Atta boy, Keith. That's a good song. Is that new? Can't hear you. Wrote it last year. Last year, that's that. That would be a new song for me. Okay. Last year. Yes. That's new. Okay, that's new. Okay, Keith Dodson, folks. He'll be back after a bit. We're gonna make a round. Uh, now we got uh, Dan Rourke. He's coming up. I'm gonna give him the whole screen here. <laughs> Replay spotlight. There he is. Hey, yeah. Dan. How you doing? Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show again. In a dream I ran into a man who seemed to know my name He had obviously had his share of trouble and pain He said I'm cautiously optimistic But I have no clue as to why People aren't being very Christian And too many people die People are saying nasty things in the name of politics and extremists are always up to their really dirty trick. He said, why can't we have a song with something good to say? Let me tell you about this man. My dream brought my way. He said, peace is not a concept to simply be ignored. We need to love each other till we come to some accord. We need to be patient and loving and kind And understand the contradictions that lie within our minds And really talk to each other and see what we can do And learn to say and really mean Peace be with you, peace be with you
Michael said to Patrick while they were on patrol, we ought to get the wives together and go and see a show, taking pictures with the protesters just to pass the time and listen to what was on everybody's mind. Patrick said to Michael, you know we really should. Getting out would do us all a whole world of good. Everybody was acting friendly like they were supposed to do. And then shots rang out and a wife and mother cried on 15th Avenue. He said peace is not a concept to simply be ignored. We need to love each other till we come to some accord. We need to be patient and loving and kind and understand the contradictions that lie within our minds and really talk to each other and see what we can do and learn to say and really mean peace be with you, peace be with you. Jesus said to Martin, tell me more about your dream. Being understanding and patience, not as easy as it seems. Only love, I co only love can conquer hate, I believe is what you said. Well, ditto that, but I wish we could get it through their flipping heads. He said, peace is not a concept to simply be ignored. We need to love each other till we come to some accord. We need to be patient and loving and kind and understand the contradictions that lie within our minds and really talk to each other and see what we can do and learn to say and really mean peace be with you. Peace be with you, peace be with you. Thanks. All right, way to go Dan, that was Dan Roark, folks. Okay, let's see here, we got, coming up next, we got Alan Larson. Right, we'll just jump right to the screen with him. Hey Alan, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Now I'm unmuted. So. Yeah, it, anyway. it, it helps. It's, it works better that way. It kind of does. Let me tilt that down. Just it took a me a long time to realize that. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I got kind of a, a well a new song for you anyway. I think some of the other folks here have heard this. But uh, so you might. Okay. By the way, you notice I'm wearing, does this t-shirt look familiar? Yes, Burger Edge. Burger yeah. Edge. Yeah, I think I got one of those. Yeah. Anyway, um. Uh, so, the story on this song is, one day I was playing and I forgot to turn on original sound and I, 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 after I got finished with the song, I joked, oh, that was how I get my special sound. It's, it's not a fault, it's a feature. And then I got, hmm, I can write a song about faults and features, only I'll make it about a woman. So You songwriter, you. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I've done. Meanwhile, I'm doing my Bob Dylan, I'm going electric today, and... Uh, my Newport Bob Dylan. Anyway, uh, I just put on. Are we supposed to boo? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I put on heavy strings, which heavy on a electric guitar really is actually the same as light gauge strings on a, an acoustic. And just, <laughs> it's just a, it, it feels what I, it's what I'm used to, and I'm not that much a lead player anyway. So anyway. So I'm going to play my electric, and here's my song, Faults and Features. I don't know if it's going to be one of my enduring hits a legacy years from now. I may quit playing it in a month, but I'm having fun with it now and then. Anyway, Faults and Features. <laughs> Well, my gal, she's a looker, if you know what I mean. She's the finest thing you've ever seen. Yeah, but sure, she gets a little crazy. 
once in a while. She can be a smooth running party machine. Then she runs wild if you know what I mean. She's always got to be living it up in style. Now some say her edges are a little too rough, but I say, so what? That's her good stuff. She may seem like a wild female creature, but those aren't faults. They're her features. Yeah, she drives too fast and she talks too loud. Runs around with a late night crowd. She's the first on the dance floor and the last to leave. She's a well-tuned entertainment center. Her car has more than a few dent fenders. She's always got somewhere else she's got to go. My friends say living with her, well, that's got to be rough. I tell them, no, man, that's her good stuff. Listen here, I ain't preaching, but those aren't faults. They're her features. Insert lead break here if you want. When she goes to work, she's never on time. She loves her tequila with a couple of limes. All those things she does make her who she is. I love her dearly when she comes home at night. She makes this man feel all right. She's one of a kind. Don't you know? My friends ask me, haven't you had enough? I tell them, can't get enough of her good stuff. When I say this, I swear I ain't reaching. Those aren't her faults, they're her features. Yeah, those aren't faults, they're her features. That's a good song. Someone had to do it. Someone had to do it, and you did it. All right. Okay, hang on just a second here. What kind of guitar was that? Did you run it directly into your interface? No, I've, I've got a little Fender um, Mustang LT25 amp I got this summer. It's a modeling app. It's got all kinds of cool sounds. It's got like eight different stomp boxes built in and overdrive or clean tones or country tones. It's I, I think I'll use it here in a minute. With completely Excuse different me. tone. I kind of had a little light fuzz going on this tone. I liked it. Yeah, and my guitar is a Ibanez um, electric I picked up at Sam Ash a few years ago. Okay, let that's Alan Orson, folks. Alan Orson. Good song, Alan. I like that a lot. Okay, here's Don Wall, folks, straight from Nashville, Tennessee. Good to hey, see Harry. You. How's it going? Going good. Good to I see everybody. You're, you're, here you're playing out at quite a bit down there. Yeah, I'm playing writer's rounds. I'm, uh, I'm actually getting a couple of jobs. I played at a restaurant. I did a three-hour gig at a restaurant the other day. Did you actually get paid? I actually got paid, yeah. All right. That's pretty good. Yeah. And you don't get paid for the writer's rounds, but, um, you know, a paid gig at a restaurant is, is pretty good. Well, congratulations. What you got for us today? Okay, I got a song. It's a pretty new song. It's, uh, it's called uh, Texas to Tennessee. I like Willie Chris, Jerry Jeff Walker, when I first moved to Texas. Now I'm driving through a pouring rain in Memphis Singing with George Strait, it's a perfect melody Drawing from Texas to Tennessee Moving from Dallas to Music City Just my baby 
baby And me And a bucket Full of dreams Going from Texas To Tennessee Well the Alamo and Sam Houston Come to mind when I think of leaving Texas behind Now it's Hank, Dolly, Bill Monroe, the Row and the Opry Going from Texas to Tennessee Moving from Dallas to Music City Just my baby and me and a bucket full of dreams Going from Texas to Tennessee Trading live oaks for magnolia Stone wire for stone walls People ain't no different at all Texas to Tennessee Moving from Dallas to Music City Just my baby And me and a bucket full of dreams Going from Texas to Tennessee That's a good song, Don. I like that internal rhyme you got going there. Texas and Tennessee. What do they call it? Alliteration or something like that? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that, that's, a, that's a good song. Is that an example okay. of write what you know? Yeah, well, yeah. When I was first writing that song, I, um, I was thinking of the, the, the driving trip, of course, with the U-Haul truck and the, the car towed on the back. And I wanted to write about the bumpy roads and all that stuff but i it just took too long so i had to kind of change it up you know and just say you know now i'm driving through a pouring rain in memphis which i really wasn't doing but for the song i am you know that's, that's not being honest though well it's the truth <laughs> oh, okay okay well it's a good song though it's a good song all, right. all i remember from uh from from Texas to Tennessee. See, that's what that's what's going to hang in everybody's that's mind. That's the hook, right? That's the hook, yeah. A good hook, good hook. Okay, that's Don Wall, folks, a real live Nashville songwriter. Okay, soon to be a hit songwriter. And uh, now we got Bill Martin. He's another hit songwriter. He's not in Nashville yet. He could be if he wanted to be. Wow, is it already my turn? It is already your turn. I'll be horn You've been having such a good time, you didn't realize I have what? been. Yeah. I have been. Hello, everybody. Um, this song, you guys have heard a trillion times. It came to me in a dream. Bop, 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 bye da. That was all I could remember, so the rest I wrote. Since you've been gone, I've been missing you. So I can't go on knowing where to go. I can't be strong, can't even answer my phone. I've been loving you so long, and now I'm on my own. Bop, 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 bite up. Why don't you come back?
Talk about a good hook. <laughs> that song's got it. I love that song. And the hook don't mean anything. Just, <laughs> it? <laughs> it's not. It's not part. It's not a word or anything, is it? Bye 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 bye. Not no. no not word, that I know one. of. Well, it fits. Good song. Thank you. That's Bill Martin, folks. Now we've got Rick Valenti from down around Houston. I'm trying to Katie. That's it. Katie, Texas. Let me get the replay spotlight here. There he is. And you, you got to turn your sound on. Can't, Is that too loud? No. How you doing, Rick? I hadn't seen you in a while. Yeah, it's been uh, quite a while. Is this too loud? We won't really know until you start playing, but it sounds pretty good. I mean, you can hear me okay, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, it's good to see some of you. Uh, I've, I've, some I've of seen us in, not. Uh, several of you uh, on the Monday night thing. And uh, <laughs> Don, I know you left us and went to move north to greener pastures, but uh, I'm glad you're, you're having a good time up there, man. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. There's something to do every night. I got a, got a chance to do a, uh, a gig with a, fr a friend of mine, uh, Thursday night, which, you know, I haven't really been gigging out at all for a long time. And a uh, little town called Cochran. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of it. Heard of it, yeah. Yeah, I I didn't even know it was north of me, but apparently it's like a little northwest of me or a little southwest of Hempstead. But uh, there's a little place called the Cochran Grill, and it was a really neat little uh, establishment. It reminded me of the old Wild West where you bring your horse and tie your horse up. But um, anyway, um, and he plays pedal steel, so it was interesting, me playing guitar and singing and him playing pedal steel behind me, but it was a sweet sound. Anyway, I'm going to do, uh, this is the song that um, I sent you, uh, Harry, that I put in for the DSA, so who knows what will happen, but here it is. It's called That's Okay. Quite some time since not much has been said. Even longer, I recall since I slept in your bed. So much shared behind us, the road empty ahead. Kind of sad, but then that's okay. It was fun while it lasted, and it's sure a damn shame. All the misunderstandings, truly no one's to blame. Just wish we could go back, all things being 
the same, generally speaking, well, I guess that's okay. Last summer in Austin, you said you'd be mine. Neat the full Texas moon, set the hill country wine. But nothing is forever, I think by design seems that way. Oh well, honey, I guess that's okay. To get one more chance, the second time around, to be there beside you, to lay my head down on your heart. In your hand, hear your sweet loving sound. Not likely, but I guess that's okay. Thought I'd write you the song, thinking maybe you'd stay. My heart feels so empty, but I'm trying to say that I wish I could undo all that got in the way. Wishful thinking. I guess that's okay Last summer in Austin You said you be mine. Maybe I was mistaken, but it seemed things were fine. We were love struck amigos, but things change over time. Seems that way. Mm, yeah, honey, I guess that's okay. But nothing is forever. I think by design, seems that way. I guess that's okay Thank you. Hey Rick. Yeah. I would, is there any way you could play the play your recorded version of that, the, the studio version? Uh, the, you know that harmony in that in the chorus that that you put on there. That's that's so perfect. I've I've wished these these people could hear that. I'll tell you what, I I can do that before we end the show if you'd like. Yeah, before we end the show, I'd like for you to come back and play that. This is he, he's got a really good song there, and that harmony it just makes it too. Okay, that was that was Rick Valenti, folks, from down there in Katy, Texas. And he's going to come back and play for us another song. He's going to play us his recorded version of his song too. Uh, now we got uh, we got Michael Joseph and Neil Le Levin. Hey, you got it right. That's amazing. Most people. <laughs> you say didn't Levin. think I was going to get that down right there. Most people say Levin. It's actually Levin. I don't know why it's Levin because my father was from Philadelphia. Levin. Yeah, that's what they say in my family. I don't know. Until I, until I became educated, I would have called that Levine, you know, but now, now that I'm smart. I, anyway. So uh, we're going to we'll kick things off with a song. I don't know if we've ever well, done wait this. Wait a minute. Let me get you up here on the screen first. I got to I gotta oh, get you oh, on the screen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go. I'm, I'm going to give you the whole screen, too. Just, I'm not going oh I'm, I'm oh. to be chinchy about it. Okay. There's Michael and Joseph right there, folks. Now, y'all get a song apiece. Y'all get a song apiece. I know you're both songwriters. So. He's going to sing one, and I'm going to sing one. So yeah. Okay. So. That's great. But the, this first song, um, I don't think we've ever played this for you. And this is a song about Henry David Thoreau. If you guys know who he was, he wrote the book Walden. He had a, a huge impact on the environmental movement, on the social justice movement. Um, he actually went to jail because he wouldn't pay his taxes to support the war of 1848. He went to jail. Um, he didn't want to pay war taxes. Anyway, this is a song that um, I co-wrote with a guy who used to be a New York City police officer, believe it or not, <laughs> who's named Rick Swagoda, and it's called Light in the Forest, mm -hmm. and it goes like this. Okay. 
that guitar audible enough? <laughs> Good. A little loud, yeah. What? It was a little loud. Try it. Try it again. Just y'all, go ahead and play and sing. We we can't really tell. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it up. He said it was too loud. I think. The, the, when you ask if it was how your guitar was, I said it's a little bit loud. A little bit loud. I, I think. Yeah, but. Okay. Let's... There, that'd be all right. be just a little bit loud too okay i had a mute on <laughs> did you yeah my mute is on but i can i just i don't it's not plugged in i'm just working with the mic is so it? i can oh. just back off you know i just have to back off a little bit more from the mic could anybody hear the hear the vocals could you hear the vocals well uh Pardon. michael could have, his vocal could have been a little bit louder yeah okay why don't you turn that up he could just get a little closer to the mic and let's, let's Let's see. Unless it's a dirty microphone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get close to it, like mine. Another, uh, I'm going to sing a song for you. I might have done this one for you before. Um, okay. I don't remember it. Um, this is a song that came out of um, my living in Los Angeles. Uh, 
which I did for six years before I moved to Nashville. And I used to live in um, Echo Park, which was a barrio. And I used to walk down Alvarado Street and see these beautiful bridal stores where the women brought these incredible bridal gowns. And that's what this song came from. It's called. May I ask a question? Just, yes. I, I keep thinking about it every time I hear you play. Did you did you play a classical violin when you were like in high school? Oh, no. I had a little bit of classical, but I uh, quickly switched to hillbilly. <laughs> okay. yeah. You play very well. Oh, I well. It, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I do have a degree for, in, in classical music from Indiana University School of really? Music. Really? Yes, but I was a piano concentration there, not violin. So multi talented. Okay. <laughs> you did. You have played piano for us sometime. I'm going to play piano for you right now. Right now. Okay, great. I can't wait. This is called Rena Del Dia. <laughs> Pretty. Thank you. Thank you. I like that a lot. 
And you do play the piano. You play it well, too. Okay. That was that was Nell, and that, and that, and then for her was Michael, and now I'm gonna skip my turn here, and, and we're gonna get Keith up here. Keith, did you get my message? You're you are next, Keith Keith Dodson, from North Carolina. Was from North Carolina. Born there, but don't remember living there. Where did you live the longest? Here? Uh, Memphis. Memphis. Yeah. So that that's where my interest in music came up. Wait a minute. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear okay. you. Okay. Uh, same thing. Not very loud, but I can hear myself. you. Okay. Well. I can hear you. I just all I gotta do is turn the volume up, though. Turn it down. All, all right. Uh, yeah, I, I, Memphis is where my musical interest came up. That's where I got uh, hooked on bluegrass and folk, and uh, uh, I guess what eventually became Americana. Did you go down to Beale Street a lot? Uh, no, back in the 60s, that wasn't a great place to go. <laughs> dangerous, huh? So, a little bit dangerous. So, uh, uh, but uh, uh, I, I was there during the heyday of Stax Records and uh, became a big fan of Booker T and the MGs. Okay, and, yeah. And I just enjoyed their music. I didn't realize how important they were. But, uh, man, uh, uh, a perfectly integrated band. Uh, musically and racially and socially and just just awesome music coming out of uh, out of stacks uh, pretty much the whole whole years I was there they they kind of went under when I left so I, I hope that wasn't my fault probably was but anyway what you gonna do for us I'm gonna do a story it's a little bit of a morality play about a young gal from out west to Abilene it's called All Rattlesnake right. Rita I love it Rattlesnake Rita was a cattleman's daughter. She danced with a rattler that she found near sweet water. A strutting the stages of the great Lone Star State. But dancing with a diamondback is a dancing with fate. Now dance, Rita dance. You know it seems such a strange circumstance. Oh, you look so demure with your reptile de jure, but you're taking a terrible chance. Yes, you're taking a terrible chance. Now, Dime Box Danny fell in love with sweet Rita. He saw her on the stage. He just had to meet her. He stood at the stage door that very same night. When Rita saw Danny, it was love at first sight. Now sway, Rita sway. Oh yes, it looks like true love's come your way. But a serpent gets jealous when you're out with other fellas. He could come back and bite you someday. Yes, he'll come back and bite you someday. And the stars in the West Texas sky Smile down on the love now rising Like a new butterfly Oh, they strolled down the lane But that viper was quicker He wrapped round Rita's leg Just to try and to trip her Rita, she stumbled and fell on her fanny And as she went down That old snake bit poor Danny Now cry Rita cry, oh dear Lord, don't let poor Danny die. But the toxic old venom, well, it was already in him. He was bound for the sweet by and by. Yes, he's gone to the sweet by and by. Well, that is the end of this tragic little story. Rita's in mourning, and Danny's gone to glory. As for the snake that the people did dread, well, they grabbed that slimy varmint and they cut off his head. Now learn, yes, Rita, learn. These toxic relationships spurn. You know, it's all black and white with companions that can bite. Some bridges you just have to burn. Yes, yeah, some bridges you just have to burn.
I always think of Sweetwater, Texas, when you sing that song. They, they have a big rattlesnake hunt there every year. Used to anyway. That, that, I used to drive, that, dr drive that, by there a lot. That kind of was the inspiration for the song. Right. So. Well, they, they, I remember they used to have a sign on the road there somewhere, rattlesnake-proof boots. I always wanted to stop there and get me a pair of rattlesnake-proof <laughs> boots. Never did it, but anyway, that's good. Great song. And that was uh, Keith Dodson, and now we got Dan Rourke coming back up with one of his songs. We play Spotlight right there. There we go. Yeah. We started out playing cover songs because we had none of our own. After a few original songs, the seeds had all been sown. We played our songs for many years, solo and in bands. We paid our dues in bargain shoes, living hand to hand. With venues, with tribute bands growing up like weeds in venues across the land. We thought we ought, cause we can't be bought, finally made the stand. We don't still even have a bus, but we look and sound the most like us. So we became our own tribute band. We became our own tribute band. We were never legendary or famous. We've been married no more than twice. There's been no trashed out hotel rooms just going on with our lives. We played our, we still play all our songs night after freaking night. And when they finally sing along, they never get the words right. With tribute bands growing up like weeds in venues across the land. We thought we ought cause we can't be bought. Finally made a stand. We don't still even have a bus, but we look and sound the most like us. So we became our own tribute band. We became our own tribute band. Never ever make a mistake, we just say we change the song. We're background for the football game, they keep score but they hung along. If you don't care for what we do and throw some kind of shade, just remember that after our gig, we actually get paid. With tribute bands growing up like weeds in venues across the land. We thought we ought cause we can't be bought Finally make a stand We don't still even have a bus But we look and sound the most like us So we became our own tribute band We became our own tribute band Welcome to our own tribute band That is awesome Thank you guys that's very creative. I like that. Yeah. Very creative. Okay. Uh, that was Dan Rort, folks. And now we got Alan Larson coming up. wonder what kind of song he's got for us today. Hang on here, Alan. I'll get, come get you. There he is. Well, I you know me. You. There he is. I Alan always, Larson. I always got to do something different. Covers are cool here, right? You can do anything you want to. You can even, you can even recite poetry here if you want to. If you'd rather do okay, that. Okay, well, I'm going to rap for a few minutes. No, anyway. Um, actually, this is a song that I did an open mic a few weeks ago and kind of butchered it. It was a bad key for me, so I've got a different arrangement. It's not a song I think you ever expect to hear an open mic by a guitar player. It's a song about a place I think you, you used to live, Harry. You used to live in New York, right? Yes, sir, Ray. Okay, well, this is New York, New York. Oh, on right. guitar. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Let's see. Start spreading the news. 
I'm leaving today I want to be a part of it New York, New York These vagabond shoes Are longing to stray Right through the very heart of it New York, New York I want to wake up in a city that doesn't sleep And find I'm king of the hill Top of the heat Little town blues are melting away. I'll make a brand new start of it in old New York. If I can make it there, I'll make it anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New Wake up in a city that never sleeps And find I'm A number one Top of the list, king of the hill A number one These little town blues Are melting away I'm gonna make a brand new start of it in old New York. If I can make it there, I'm gonna make it anywhere. It's up to you. Alan, you should keep that in your repertoire. That, that's such a great song. And, and oh, I uh, love that song. Yeah, I love hearing I, Frank. I've never that. heard a, a, anyone do it like that. And, it, <laughs> and, it, and the song yeah. is still just, it's still is great. I mean, yeah, I need to work on the... That is a really great song. I'm belting need, out the vocal more you, at the end, but it, it's fun to play. It's not well, that hard you do to it. break it down. That's great. You should, just, you should do that a lot. Thank you, Frank Sinatra. Good. Yeah. You do that for Aaron Judge? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Aaron Judge, yeah. Okay, well, that's Alan Larson, folks, singing the New York, New York. Great rendition. And now we got we got Don Wall coming up. I bet he's going to do an original. Here we go. Here's Don. Yeah, I got a song. Um, it's one that I've been working on and finished up this spring after we got here in Nashville. And it's just a pure expression of love. It's a love song for Kimberly and love birds everywhere. You're a cool breeze walking through the woods In springtime as special as a red bud in full bloom You're my ice cream melting in the sunshine You set my heart a beating boom, boom, boom I just want to tell you just how much I love you Sing it from my heart You're my one and only I love the way you love me I'm in love with me and you No fear, no jealousy 
jealousy, no meanness, no judgment, no anger, no regret. We share sweetness and passion between us ever since the day we met. And I just want to tell you just how much I love you. Sing it from my heart. You're my one and only. I love the way you love me. I'm in love with me and you. My heart's a flutter. We're happy with each other. We love our time together. Let's make it last forever. Cause you're in love with me and I'm in love with you. Oh, I just want to tell you just how much I love you. Sing it from my heart. You're my one and only. I love the way you love me. I'm in love with me and you. You're in love with me and you. We're in love with me and you. It's true, I love you. Thank you. There we go. Good song, Don. Thanks. Thanks I guess man. you know one of these days y'all probably gonna get married and you'll quit writing those songs like that. Yeah. Isn't that what yeah. happens? Usually, you know, after about 10 years, yeah. she's, she's going to ask you, say, well, why don't you write me a love song anymore? Well, that's yeah. interesting. Um, I, I hope it You know, a lot of happen. songwriters say you have to go through a breakup to write good songs. Well, that could, you get good songs out of a breakup, yeah. You do. you do. I'm trying to write songs that are good, that are based on good things happening. Well, it is. That's a good song. That's a good, positive song. And I know Kimberly. She deserves all them kind of songs like that. She's right. a nice lady. She, she's you're lucky to have a gal like that she's my one and only yeah <laughs> she's your one and only i believe it okay and she let you move to nashville and all that stuff that's great and she came with me too how's she doing down there she's doing good she's she's busy just like i am uh we do a lot of the same things and she does a lot of her own thing too she's uh she's working on uh some writing projects uh trying to start to write fiction she's she's written non-fiction stuff before oh really and she wants to write fiction so she's starting to write some fiction oh great well give her my regards will do miss y'all so yeah anyway okay that's don wall folks down in nashville and now we got bill martin coming back up bill martin okay yeah don i was hoping you'd be here today i've been looking forward to seeing you again Good to see you, Bill. Thank you. If you go to Eric Clapton's album, Pilgrim, and you listen to a song written by Bob Dylan on that album called Born in Time, you'll know exactly where I stole this uh, rhythm from. I knew it wouldn't be in Lubbock shucks i i was so nervous about this one Any you stole nuance? that chord from me <laughs> <laughs> i did didn't i <laughs> there it is i knew it wouldn't be in lubbock grand junction colorado Turn to Denver, my people and my things. It wouldn't be in Greeley, it wouldn't be in Spain, could never be for college. Recurring dream I have. I'm in my twenties, I'm confused. Should I go back to Hollywood from treasures I have?
Song. It's got Lubbock in it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good song. You have some really pretty melodies Thank and you. good words too. Thank you. Okay, that was that was Bill Martin. Now we got Rick Valenti, Valenti coming back up. I don't know if he's going to do a song for us now or uh, see what we got here. We play Spotlight. Can't hear you. Unmute myself. Un Unmute thyself. Good stuff, Bill. I still like that guitar in the corner of your room. I still can't figure out how you play that. <laughs> yeah, my friend Steve guitar. Van Gelder made that. Let's see that. Especially that hand coming over the top there, you know. that. <laughs> Just a second here. I'm going to put him up here and we'll look at this. Let everybody look Is at that. Is the guitar that. coming through okay? Uh, you need to, you, overall, you need to be a little bit louder. There you go. Okay, and the vocals is okay. All right. Yeah, but get up close. You, you need to. Need, I'm yeah. gonna kiss the mic. Kiss the mic. Here now, you go. As far as Don saying about songs uh, that are happy, which I agree with, although a lot of mine are like crying in your beer songs, but um, this is the one I wrote uh, in January, and I retired in June. So uh, this is my dedication to those that retire which I'm part of that group now. It's called Ain't Working No More. You need to be louder. Time to shut my life down from the rat race I abhor. 
simplify the life I lead and seek a different shore. Tired of the chaos, weary of the stress, saving all that I have left for the things I love the best. I ain't working no more, think I'm done. Time to get a move on, play and have some fun. Wandering on an empty beach, be the morning sun. Lord knows my time has come. Time to spend with family, playing my music from my soul. Playing things from heart and mind, keep my spirit, make it whole. Money, fame, and politics control the life I led. But after deep reflections, I believe I was misled. I ain't working no more, think I'm done. Time to get a move on, play and have some fun. Wandering on an empty beach, feel the morning sun. Lord knows my time has come. For all these things mean nothing when it's all said and done. I want inner peace and happiness, my time has now begun. But these days are sadly numbered and time is passing by. I'd rather not be wandering too long before I die. Just what I could have made of it in the time that does remain. Strong about my faculties and sharp within my brain. To get up every morning to feel myself at ease. I'll jump right into solitude and live just like I plead. I ain't working no more, think I'm done. Time to find what real living's like, a new day has begun. Make up for lost time with my special someone, who knows my time has come. You got that? You got that recorded song? That one, uh, I'm uh, just about finished up with it. A uh, buddy of mine's doing it with me. No, the other song, the one that you you asked oh, yeah. you to do. Can you do that now? Or you yeah, wait? just a minute. Hmm. I got it pulled up right here. Uh, let me know if you can hear this. Let's see. Not yet. <laughs> Hold it up close, closer. Right up on, put it right on the mic. Can't hear it? Hold it up closer, put.
Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I was really thrilled about with that was that uh, when, I, when I recorded it um, at the, uh, with a friend of mine here, uh, Harry at, in uh, Houston, uh, the engineer, he, he goes friends with uh, Gene Elders, who's a fiddle player for George Strait's band. So he hooked me up with him, to, and I sent him the song, and he ended up coming up with that mandolin and fiddle part. Just blew me away. I was like, that's exactly what I... I don't write. I never thought I'd write Texas music, but well, the har the harmony is what made it. The way I liked it. That harmony. I, I I hope everyone could hear that. But that 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 harmony is just perfect. It sounded mm -hmm. like something coming out of, out of Austin. Well, it the, really gir did. the girl yeah. that that sings at is a friend of his too. You know, because he works at Wire Road Studios, and he used to work. He used to be part owner of Sugar Hill with Dan Workman here in Houston. Yeah. And. uh she she sings like at, in, at the, the Houston Theater and stuff, and she's got a band with her, I think with her grand uncle and her dad, a three-piece, and they play around. They've played on the East Coast, but he brought her in, and, you know, I, I she sat there with me during the song, and I was just like, hey, can you do a little bit of this and that? And she was, she just nailed it. She was right alongside with me on the parallel, and that's what was really great. So thank you. Yeah, good song, good song. Okay, that was a... Rick Valenti, now we got Michael and Nell coming back up. Here we are. Let me find them. Let me and, find uh, them. Let's see. We're going to oh, continue. Okie dokie. There they are. Okay, uh, we're going to continue on the love song we have here. A little song that I wrote. And I think. Uh... Well, before we do that, while I'm, thinking, while I'm remembering it, we had a conversation with our mailman the other day, really cool guy, the best mailman you ever had, and he mentioned drinking Everclear. Oh yeah, he did. To clear and I head. said, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said, well, we could, we know a guy that wrote a song about Everclear. So yeah. hey, Harry, can you send it to us? Yeah, yeah, I'll send it to you. Yeah, That's this it. guy, this mailman is incredible. He like runs for eight hours a day i mean up and down these stairs these old houses um he's he's amazing is he, is he a songwriter or something down there or is it just no, no. Oh, he's a mailman he's, he's a, a mailman <laughs> and he gets off work and goes coaches the kids and uh in baseball yeah I'll, I'll send you the song he's yeah send it to us because we we mentioned it to i'll him. give you the words and everything okay that'd be cool. great okay. okay there's a little love song that i wrote for somebody that you might know <laughs> two Are we all balanced? Can you hear me good? Can we, yeah. What? Yeah, uh, sing a little bit. Yeah, you're balanced. Okay. Two, three, four. I've been taking, I've been teased, I've been playing with, and I've been pleased. best I can, but I swear I never knew, till the day when I met you, the woman who could love me just the way I am, sometimes I get cross, and act like I'm your boss, when the working day has left me what you know is not you It's got me feeling blue You might give me hell But then you love me just the way I am Well I've been around now a time or two I know what it's like to live But if I
to lose. context for this you know uh, it's called halfway house and uh you know people get out of prison sometimes they go to halfway house they gotta get out of drug treatment sometimes they go to halfway house and that's kind of the uh the uh the basis for this sort of <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there ain't no way you 
I tell you what, the muse just reared its head and gave y'all a little gem there too. That, that's that's the, how hard it's not a halfway house. How'd y'all come up with that? Uh, well, you want me to talk about recovery or? <laughs> what talking oh, about? That's really that's, that's great cook. I love that. Uh, well, yeah, it came out of you know all that good stuff. All that all stuff. Twelve step programs, right? Okay. <laughs> Thank so you. here's a question for you, Harry. Yeah. Everclear, is that, because I, I don't drink, so I'm not really hip to all this well, stuff. <laughs> um, is that a thing that, that came out of Texas and migrated to Tennessee? Uh, no, I don't, I'm not sure where it got started, but, but what it is, it's, it's purified white lightning. It's just pure alcohol. Uh-huh. You know, okay. it, doesn't have the, it doesn't have the off, off taste that, you know, white lightning does. Uh -huh. White lightning has kind of got a little bit of a corn taste to it, but the Everclear is just pure alcohol. It's 195 proof. Oh, Actually, I, I say 190 in the song, but it's they've got it. it it'll uh, it'll actually melt a plastic spoon if you try to drink it. A uh, mixed drink in like a wax cup, the cup will just uh -huh. fall apart. Uh -huh. but, the, yeah. but it's cheap. It's cheap on a per ounce basis. You know, a lot of these bars that sell uh, fruit drinks and stuff. You know, all those th kind of that you put the little umbrella in and everything. <laughs> they can, but the bartender has to know what he's doing. You know, you don't want to put too much That's in there. Much, but, yeah. but it's a good, good mixed drinker. If yeah, you send us that song. We will share it with Zeke. I'll, I'll yeah. send it to you. Yeah, I'll, I'll sing it here in a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass up. I'm gonna do the last song today. But uh, so uh, Keith is next, and we got about enough time. Everybody, everyone should get one more song. Okay. But, All right. Thank you all for coming. Appreciate everybody coming. Okay, let's see. Where's, where's Keith? Oh, there he is, down here. I see you down at the bottom on my screen. Here we go. Replay Spotlight. There he is. You got there another go. Rattlesnake song or what? Oh, this, this is a song that uh, I, I wrote when I was recovering from some food poisoning and was listening to Dylan's uh, subterranean homesick blues and i'm thinking you know in my state right now i could probably write something like that so this is called sandy bernard <laughs> Now Sandy Bernard, he is a backyard bard who slips in the verse. When times get hard, he's gotta make amends with those he offends, cause his rapier worth saves us what he intends to do. Well, he had him a wife who's always causing strife, bound to end up in prison for the rest of her life. She had more than one name, but her favorite was Jane. She cried all the time because she was going insane to her. Well, I once knew them both and they scared me so. I looked for them in the alleys everywhere I'd go. One day Jane went wild, went to Sandy and smiled, said, guess what, lover, gonna have us a child. But Sandy got mad, didn't want to be a dad, gonna leave you woman, that's all that he had to say. So Sandy went to town, was gonna mess around, but Jane found out. She went and tracked him down. She pulled out a gun, said, I'm ending your fun. I'm going to send you to hell. You'll never see your son away. Now I saw her pull the trigger and I watched him fall. The cops grabbed Jane and they threw her up against the wall. Now they took Sandy to the dock. He was just down the block. Took a slug from his shoulder while Sandy took stock Of his own careless ways and the way he spent his days The way he treated Jane left him hanging in a haze of guilt They took Jane to jail but Sandy paid her bail Only got probation cause the prosecutor failed Much to his surprise the jury realized They were both victims of the way their lives were built I heard Sandy say, she's my heart's delight. Now Sandy and Jane stay at home with their son every night. Yeah, they turned out all right. They turned out all right now. Turned out all right. 
Everclear came from uh, St. Louis. It originated there. Ah, Good song. Same place as Budweiser. Yeah. Good song. That's Keith Dodson, folks. From North Carolina originally. Now he's from Texas. He's a Texas boy. Okay. Uh, we got uh, Dan Rourke coming up. Dan, this will probably be your last song for the day. Yep. Thank you very much for coming. You bet. Always good to see you, hear you. This song, this song, this song is both literally and metaphorically true. I was happy sitting at the bar, but Charlie was really pissed off. Two stools down, down in margaritas with a hack and smoker's cough. He said, I hate long-haired, red-headed pricks like he had something to prove. I said, I guess them prick is the best I can do. Next thing I remember, he was feeding me my shoe with my foot still in it. I got my ass kicked in Nashville, seems like all the way to St. Paul. Flew around a while with a drum and smile, and I landed in a bathroom stall. I brushed off, stood up, stumbled out, hands out, crawled along the while. I got my ass kicked in Nashville, but I don't remember it all. Sitting at a bar in Dallas, and Charlie was nowhere near. But Nathan was, and he elbowed me as he swallowed his mouth full of beer. He said, I was in Nashville on business last week, got drunk, and him had a blast. Have you ever been to Nashville or done anything like that? Well, I gotta tell you, I got my ass kicked in Nashville, seems like all the way to St. Paul. Flew around a while with a drunken smile And I landed in a bathroom stall I brushed off, stood up, stumbled out Hands out, crawled along the wall I got my ass kicked in Nashville But I don't remember it all At a fast food place You look like Charlie without the hair He said I bet you never had a day As bad as mine and if you have I'd like to know where Okay I got my ass kicked in Nashville Seems like all the way to St. Paul Flew around a while With a drunken smile And I landed in a bathroom stall I brushed off, stood up, stumbled out Hands out, crawled along the wall I got my ass kicked in Nashville, but I don't remember it all. I got my ass kicked in Nashville, but I don't, I really don't remember it all. Thanks, Harry. Thanks, everybody. Well, we're glad he didn't kill you. <laughs> if we wouldn't have got that song. <laughs> Good song. I like it. Okay, folks, that was, that was Dan Rourke. He was saving his best for last. All right. Now we got Alan Larson coming up. Alan? I don't know what he's drinking there, but Alan's, Alan's ready. He's Would you ready believe iced it. coffee? I've iced on, coffee, okay. I've been on an iced coffee kick this summer. With a little Everclear? <laughs> They'd probably go in there, all right. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> so, back to the electric, back to original songs. This is my song about, I think, crime and violence seems to be the theme of the last few songs. But anyway, this is my song, Life on the Run. Take a little 
ten. I see you on the street, duck down an alley, our eyes not to me. Keep my collar turned up high. Can't make it better stepping into the light. The loud. This is what it all came to. Tooth for a tooth, a nail for a nail. Men who walk with a ball and chain, with brothers in arms. On a runaway train Such is life on the run Darkness your only friend Fear always round the bend Keep pushing you on Brought it all on myself. Does no good to blame somebody else. I made the wrong choice a long time ago. And I run from the law and I'm keeping it low. Oh, what happened? Such is life on the run Darkness your only friend Fear always round the bend Keep pushing you on Cold wind blows me down the street my overcoat flapping in the gusty breeze Somebody else is it for me But I can't risk turning to see One day I'm gonna jump off this train Somehow I'm gonna get back my name I don't know who I can trust for a friend But one day this has all got to end Such is life on the run Darkness your only friend Fear always round the bend Keep pushing you on Alan, you're not getting the sound. You need to be getting out of that electric guitar. I don't. Know, you hadn't got. You hadn't quite got it yet. Yeah, some some changed right in the middle. I don't know what's yeah. going on. I was playing around with some of the settings on it, and yeah. I don't know what it did. But. Sound great song. Yeah, there's a lot of different settings I can utilize. Oh yeah, I, I, you ought to be able to get any kind of sound you want out of that electric guitar. Maybe oh, you need some kind of a preamp or something. Right? Yeah. I don't it's know. It's got a bunch of built-ins presets but you can create your own save them all that kind of stuff what kind of what kind of electric guitar is it the electric guitar is a ibanez is that what you were playing then the electric or is that something else? yeah i mean it's going through a fender mustang modeling amp it's just a small little 25 watt amp but it's got yeah. so many cool sounds it's, it's fun yeah. to play with yeah 
And the, okay. The, the guitar, I don't think, has a name. I think it just has a model number, XB73, oh. you know, something like that. Okay. Well, anyway, thank you for playing, Alan. Yeah. Glad Good to be song. here. Good song. Okay, uh, Don Wall is next. Don, what's going, what's going to be your last song for the day? Okay, I got one. Um, it's called uh, Take Her Down a Slow Road. All right. Comes a time to go this way or that And you got a heavy load Choose a pathway more bumpy than flat Road not taken, I'm told Holding on, looking back It's a good time to get off of that fast track You'll never reach your quest all alone Take a walk, don't look back Take her down the slow road Comes a time I met an old man standing on the beach He said you left your girl back home Lost your freedom, don't push her out of reach Can't you feel her glow? Holding on, looking back It's a good time to get off of that fast track You'll never reach your quest all alone Take a walk, don't look back Take her down a slow road Softest when you hold her tight Angels, tears, and morning light Dew drops of dawn upon the road Show some kindness, treat her right Take her with you, it's alright There's room for two, two for the road Holding on, looking back It's a good time to get off of that fast track Never reach your quest all alone. Dig a walk, don't look back, take it down a slow road. Comes a time to put sand under my feet. When the days start feeling the same old. Let the road unfold. Looking back, it's a good time to get off that fast track. You'll never reach your quest all alone. Dig a walk, don't look back, take it down a slow road. Then the old man said, Don't let her go. Oh, dig a walk, don't look back, take it down a slow road. Great song, Don. Appreciate it. Good luck in Nashville. Thank you. Great to be with you guys. Yeah, thanks for coming. Okay, now we got got Bill Martin coming up. It's good to see how how we deal with with our faux pas, and and you you handle it very well. Oh, I just uh, totally uh, played the verses out of order and (laughs) forgot half the lines, but that's okay. (laughs) <laughs> and that happens to me so often, I, I, I so totally, yeah, it can be mortifying, but you handle it with equanimity. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I 
Another hit song, folks, by Bill Martin. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Appreciate you playing all those songs for us today and coming. Thanks for the having us, Harry. And I can't think of a better way to spend Saturday afternoon than just doing this. Okay, now we got uh, Michael and Nell coming back up. All right. Are we, we unmuted? Are we on? Yeah, yes. Okay, good. There you are. Okay. You never know. Uh, so we're going to play a song that Nell wrote about another way of getting your ass kicked in Nashville. <laughs> it's called Hot Chicken. And we have something here called the Hot Chicken Festival every year on the 4th of July. And uh, I'll guarantee you the hot, hot chicken is hot. One of our band members bit into it and his mouth was burning for two hours. So and it's a Nashville tradition. It's kind of spread out, I think, around the country a little bit. Do you have hot chicken in Texas yet? You do? I figured you would. Oh, yeah, I had some last weekend. Oh, good. <clears throat> All right. One, two, three, four. It's 99 degrees in Nashville, Tennessee on the 4th of July. If you want a little fun in the blazing sun, Go ahead and give it a try. Hot chick, 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 chicken. Burn, baby, burn. Hot chick, 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 chicken. Learn, baby, learn. 
It's always a thrill when we see Mayor Bill driving that old fire truck around. When he rings that bell, we know darn well no finer food in Nashville can be found. Hot chick, 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 chicken burn, baby burn. Hot chick, 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 chicken burn. Now, is that a chain? Is there a hot chicken chain or something? Oh, no, no, that's, that is a local festival. It happens right over here in East Park. No, he wants off the chain, the hot chicken. No, there isn't. I mean, it started out with this one uh, guy, oh, Prince's man. Chicken, over in uh, North Nashville. Yeah. And uh, then it got really popular. And now there's a bunch of different companies that have hot chicken. They're all over Nashville. It's like, yeah, I had some hot chicken. It went for hours to get into Hattie B's and places like that. It's crazy. Oh, it's crazy. Line, line That'd line be a good them. chain name, though. Hot chicken. Hot chicken. There's yeah. a hot, hot chicken, chicken is popular. Place. There's a hot chicken place near where I live. I forget the name of it, but I haven't tried it yet. What do they call it? I, I, I'm trying to remember. Oh, but, okay. Dave's Hot Chicken or something Dave's like that. Chicken, yeah. Yeah. Well, they got mild, medium, and hot, and I highly recommend starting out with the mild. <laughs> probably, yeah. Okay, y'all got another one for us, or is that, that it? No, probably? no, we're, uh, we're the... giving it back to you. Okay. Back to Okie dokie. Y'all got time for one more song for me? Sure. Yes, absolutely. I'll, I'll do the Everclear song. Just this for, oh, this, Everclear. Oh, this for the, post, the postman. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me get my thing going here. The postman I think always I'll, drinks twice. The postman <laughs> drinks twice. Yeah, I'll put it on gallery view here. Let me put mine up here. Hang on just a second. There we go. Okay, and then Di Alan, when I finish, I want you to get that do that one minute song for us. We can't can't leave without your one minute song. Uh oh. Okay. I know you know it. Wait a minute. I'm gonna do what? I'm gonna take Don's suggestion if I can. If I get this. See if I can get it there. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Floor. 
it'll melt your name off your front door. There's never been no stronger stuff. 109 is proof enough. You better read that label. The warning's clear. When you get drunk, don't get There's never been no stronger stuff. One hundred nine is proof enough. You better read that label. The warning's clear. When you get drunk, don't get drunk on Everclear. She took my house. She took my car. She took my job, my old guitar. She took my dog, I can't remember its name. Purple Jesus on my brain. There's never been no stronger stuff. One hundred nine. When you get drunk, don't get drunk on Everclear. Your life will suck if you get drunk on Everclear. Chug a lug, chug a lug. This has been a public service announcement. Thank you very much. All right, that's it for me. Thank y'all very much for coming. All of you appreciate it. I'm always flattered when all such good songwriters show up, and so many of you. And, and now we got another good songwriter. He's going to end uh, his, end the show with a song he always ends the show with. So oh, boy. this is a tradition. If there's a one minute song, if it goes over a minute, well, we cut, we turn it off anyway. You know. Okay. So it's, it can't be over a minute long, Alan. You ready? Y'all yeah, ready I got for a this? Blue me, Jay yelling out. Just open. On let me my give open you the copies. spotlight here. There we go. By the way, uh, if if anybody's thinking we missed a nail biter of a football game, forty nine to nothing Texas right now. Oh my. Oh my. Anyway, I, yeah, I just glanced at the TV. Anyway, I can't leave this song well enough alone. So this is the closing time version of the song. I got one minute left for one more song. He says this tune can't be too long. Guess I better pick up the pace. I see a blue haired teen is sweeping up the place. Now there's half a minute left to try to persuade you to tip the wait staff and the musicians who have played buy your girl a cd and a t-shirt that'll impress her we got beer koozies she'll always treasure but ah oh, it's too late now because here comes the hook <laughs> Thank y'all very much. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a good month, okay? Thank happy, you, happy, ha happy Halloween. That's coming up. Okay. Yeah.
Thank every one of you. See y'all. Just push that little red button. It'll all be over. Hey guys. Great seeing you all, everybody. Take care. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. Harry, Don, all Keith, yeah. Alan, uh, Nell, and Michael are gone. It's They're just gone. us. Are we still broadcasting? Hey, there, yeah, we're still broadcasting. But... Okay, thank you to our loyal, devoted cult following that is seeing thank us you. on yeah, YouTube. All, all one of you. I think there's one person watching. Fantastic. That, was. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might be me. Was that you? That's, probably, yeah. they, they, oh, that's, that's the feed to the jumbo tron at the cop <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> they're watching us instead wouldn't that be funny <laughs> <laughs> hey i'll see y'all next right. time uh, okay right. y'all take, take care, care thank you thank bye bye you. <laughs> it's great to see you harry good to see you bill thanks for coming my pleasure thanks for having us adios Thanks, folks. See y'all. <laughs>